We find ourselves here again to share a tale or two about that which lurks in the shadows. This time, I'll take you back to a place we've been before, the Blackwater Swamps of Southern Georgia. Of course, if you were to imagine that the aforementioned setting houses something monstrous and pure evil, you'd be correct. Our story is called Crawler, and it's here on permanent display on the Nightfall Radio Show. A thing sleeps in the earth. Forgive me, please. Perhaps the word thing is just a wee bit cryptic and disquieting to those of you with more discretionary tastes. However, in this instance, I must insist upon injecting just a small dose of pseudo-nomenclature. Extreme southeastern Georgia is where the legend originates. Down in the swamp where the marsh smells horribly into the still silence of death-morning hummocks. They call it the black water down there, and for more reasons than what the peat does to the water. An essence is spawned there, an essence of murky solitude drenched by searing sun-dawn days which linger aimlessly and selfishly, leaving few traces of itself, save the heather-clad clouds which dance into the shadow-written nights that follow. Day is a virtual illusion, and in this place, Darkness abides in the terror of the human soul. Night breathes a hideous facsimile of life into the swamp. Understand this too, that this is not a place for men in their missions of curiosity and thoughtless self-indulgences. Things occur here that by man's reasoning are limited only to the scope of the nether extremities of the imagination. I've heard it said that people not places can be possessed by discarnate entities, but this I protest. For this nightmarish pocket of hell is a boiling cauldron of preternatural tendencies, masked only occasionally by black ripples dancing atop a shattered, fathomless mirror and decaying alders which resist uselessly the ancient winds predating life itself, and countless shadows and grim utterances that dare mock nature. But the thing, there's that word again, the thing is there, sleeping under a hundred feet of peated water and mud. Nobody knows where it comes from. It could be alien, or some unknown surviving prehistoric remnant. Or something far, far worse. It's there waiting, its scalding hunger growing after a five hundred year dormancy. The true terror is this. The creature whose name in the language of the Timucua Indians translates as crawler or more correctly, dark thing moving, must rise and feed. To hear the rest of this story, head on over to blackwatermedia.net and click on the Become a Member link and join the Blackwater Media Swamp Hunter Society. Being a member grants you access to the highest quality horror, paranormal, and supernatural story narration available anywhere.